Friday, December 16th, and I am leaving Valleyfield, the Walmart in Valleyfield, Quebec. But anyways, I'm leaving here and some tells me that I won't be back for a while. What a day to be leaving though, you know, it's, uh, but it's going to be snowing. It says all week, every day, all day for the rest of the week. So I'm just going to be taking it easy, taking my time and not putting in that many hours every day. There's Canadian Tire right there, those crooks. Right there. What do you think, Will? happy to be getting out of this crazy province crazy well I don't even want to call them human that things couldn't get any worse. This wiper blade arm, luckily it's on the driver, but it's acting up. It's not working right. Like, oh my God, see it's not going down. And it also looks like it's gonna fling off. Like, unbelievable. Like they just, oh my Lord. Oh my God, I feel so sick to my stomach. Whenever a trucker passes me, I can't film it because it's just too dangerous and I have to put my wipers on high, well this one freezes and it causes this one to jump and it's messed up. It's just, wow, it's crazy. <laughs> Look it. Now it's not even going up at all. See that? <laughs> so it's now quarter after two and they fixed it. They said free of charge. They said it was apparently it was a loose nut because of the heavy snow. But uh, yeah, I've never been so stressed out. I was, I swear, I was so frightened. My limbs were numb. Anyways, I'm happy you're okay, girl. Wiper blades are so quiet. What a difference. Apparently it was a loose bolt. Yeah, I don't think that was by accident. Not the greatest traveling conditions, that's for sure. Oh, this is exactly what I didn't want. You see, isn't it ironic that your fears always come to fruition? I arrived here and look at Walmart is just right next door thankfully I arrived here last night it was dark out it was around uh, 6 30 I guess and uh, yeah I've been traumatized sitting in the parking lot since I'm just gonna get some laundry done while I'm here laundry today or naked tomorrow okay there's my girl Pooh Bear's waiting patiently, but I'm just right here. It's open 24 seven and not only that, I'm telling you, it's got serious security so you feel safe, but it's got to be the most cozy laundry mat I've been in ever. 
that's the security everywhere, but nice little lounge area, you know, with big windows. You can see out here, right? And this little Christmas tree, but nothing in the vending machine. I'm just over here in this little cozy corner. There's only one other person here doing one load, but they don't wait around, but this is, I'm charging all of my stuff. I've got three loads going. Those three right there. I guess somebody else is here. Well, anyways. And the best part is they've got a really nice clean bathroom. Clean bathroom and I am going to fill up because they got hot water. So I'm gonna have a nice bath tonight with nice clean bedding. Costs $3 for a dry. It starts at four at those ones, but over the ones I'm using here, it says it starts at $3.75, but that's if you use uh, cold. If you use uh, hot water, it goes to $4.25 a load if you use hot water. And I had to use hot water for all of mine, so this one's done. I'm gonna put it in the dryer. Such a cozy little mat, right? Laundry mat. The Walmart is just a couple of minutes up the road, but here's my little station. I've got a coffee. Uh, oh, and also I forgot to mention free Wi Fi. That's why I got this, so I could be editing a video, but I've got nothing to edit. I also wanted to say thank you to uh, all the comments that I got in my last video, but unfortunately I'm not in the right frame of mind to be answering um, comments or questions or anything like that. Here is downtown Pembroke.
prettiest view, but like I said, in the winter time, I have the uh, blinds closed. So I can't see outside anyways. I just try to stay warm and I'm just grateful that I pulled in here just now. It took me exactly three hours to do a two hour and 20 minute drive. But look at that, it's starting to snow a little heavier and I, I, I'm so not comfortable driving in the snow now, especially in the dark. I'm just grateful to be here safe and I have a lot of time to relax and eat and clean up and go to bed and get up and try to do a couple more hours tomorrow. Sunday, December 18th, 2022. It's quarter to five and I'm just going to be having, well, some toast with some egg salad on it and some spinach, nutritional yeast, and some salt, Himalayan salt, and some fresh ground pepper. That's my easy dinner. Feeling grateful. I also like my little radio. The CD is not working, unfortunately. So that CD I've not been able to listen to. It's just my butter, let me see organic butter that I paid six dollars oh there you go it just goes to show fire. my fire alarm works thank you well we're fire. good fire. oh geez fire. Fire. there we go hush mode look at that. Mode hush <laughs> thank you but there's no fire just my cooking well, there we go delicious right and this is the bread I'm using not the greatest so it's Monday December 19th 2022 it's 10 30 in the morning and I am just leaving North Bay Ontario heading to South St. Marie, Ontario, which is a little over a four hour drive. So hopefully I'll be there before before dark. That's my goal. I cannot drive in the dark or snow. Look it, I see a snowflake. Panic.
sunset. Okay, so unfortunately, it's gonna be snowing all week, so I have to drive in this, but this is nothing compared to what's coming. It's Tuesday today, December 20th, but uh, come the weekend, it's gonna be a blizzard Friday and Saturday. So I wanna get out of here before the snowstorm, blizzard and everything. Um, and I'm just heading to Wawa, Ontario, which is a two and a half hour drive. It's like quarter after 11 right now. Who's the only idiot on the road? Yep. I'm the only idiot on the Trans-Canada Highway. I'm feeling so stressed out. I can't relax. My limbs are numb, completely numb. My jaws are so sore from clenching my teeth. Oh, yeah. Sometimes there's exceptions. I had the last of these eggs. They were hard boiled. So it's now 10 to 3 and I'm still sitting here. So it's been like three hours just sitting here and I suppose I should be grateful uh, if I have to compare myself to other people because I've had to use the bathroom a few times and this poor lady in front there her husband's driving but she's had to go outside I mean three hours I mean you got to do what you got to do right and I'm just so grateful I've got all my food with me I had some hard-boiled eggs um, yeah, some pistachios, just anything I want. You get it. I have everything I need with me because this is my home. I am houseless, but I'm not homeless. So I'm grateful that anytime I need to go to the bathroom or got hungry or thirsty, I've been able to just go in. <laughs> this poor dog has got to do his business now the second time he's brought him out since we've been here um, but yeah so I'm just grateful I have everything and honestly I can actually shut the van off I'm almost tempted to but every time I think about doing it I think oh no it's gonna get moving three hours later and we're still sitting here but I could have shut my van off and I could have put on my wave 3 catalytic heater and uh, save money on gas and uh, yeah, but I haven't been able to do it. Ooh, look at this, oh my God, and look at that. We'll probably st get start moving now, but I am not, oh my word. I can't even see nothing. My heart is going so fast right now, and if I am not, if my dark hair is not all white by the time I get to BC, I'll be surprised because I cannot even manage my stress level as much as I try when I'm driving in this. Oh, I feel sick. Like I honestly feel like I'm going to throw up. Yeah, I can't even pull over anywhere. There's nowhere to even like go into these roads anywhere. At least I can see and maybe just stay here. I don't know. Hopefully we'll be moving soon. 
quarter to four. So it's been like four hours. I've been sitting here, not just me, all these people too. And I'm probably a lot more blessed than any of them. <laughs> that I know. If you look right there, yeah, that's what they had to do. You know, gotta do what you gotta do. So it's that time. And I uh, decided to turn on the heat, turn off the van. I'm gonna make myself a coffee. Just boiling some water, you can't see it. But anyways, never thought that I would just be parked right literally on the Trans-Canada Highway. We're not moving. And if, uh, if it gets really bad, there's actually, I'm gonna pull right into this driveway right here. Right here. It's the closed um, <clears throat> seasonal motel that was there. I just pulled up ahead because people left, as you can see. And uh, yeah, so if I have to stay here, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna park right there. I'm just gonna move right in there, not too far in, so I don't get snowed in or stuck, so I can back out easily. And uh, yeah, but see. I'm really grateful for this right now. I really, really am. Like I'm gonna have a coffee, I'm gonna relax, bring Pooh back there with me, and uh, yeah, I shut everything down. Got the windows rolled down a little crack there on each side, oops. And yeah, so I am pulled off of the road right into this can't see at the motel here but anyways yeah I am staying right here there's a house right here so if I have an emergency well you know everything's perfect I don't care what anybody says I'm staying right here that's we're not moving I just called in and they said it's closed Highway 17 is closed, Algoma or something, and so, yeah, I'm staying right here, right in this, I just pulled off, it was so perfect, and yeah, you see, people are leaving, they know that they're turning around and going back towards Sault Ste. Marie, I'm not driving another hour back, not with the price of gas, I'm scared that I might not even have enough to get out west. I left at 11, about quarter after 11 a.m., two and a half hour drive, you know, so <sighs> Murphy's Law certainly happened. You know, if anything go wrong, it will. Well, yeah, it did for sure. That's the temperature. That's the time. And I am still sitting here on the highway. Look at it. That's my water. It's like slush, it's so cold. Okay, the highway's reopened, just reopened. People are slowly heading out. So, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Oh, thank God. So it's 10 o'clock in the morning. I don't know how far I'm gonna drive. It was simply closed because of the um, bad weather. Like, this is a really bad stretch.
317 is closed from Wawa South to Batchewana due to weather conditions with no estimated time for when it will reopen. Stay tuned for further updates on Jam FM. Kilometers an hour, eyes of minus 11 in Wawa, minus 12 in Shaft Loads, Euclidville, Hawk Junction, and in land areas where the wind chills up to minus 15, minus 14 for Wawa. Mm. A proud community partner, John's Yard, wish everyone a safe and happy holiday Wawa, Ontario. Tim Horton parking lot. That's where I slept last night. It's Thursday, December 22nd, 2022. It's noon. And it's hardly anybody on the road except for the odd trucker, like right now. Okay, so I just um, spoke to the manager here and told him my situation and told him that I'm, uh, I seriously am so traumatized that I might even have to go to the hospital. <sighs> um, a trucker came right into my lane and if I didn't move, I had to move over, but it was into the snow and I lost control of my van and I really thought I was going to crash. But I, if I didn't move, like pull into the snow, he would have hit me. It was just so close. It was so close. And anyways, um, so the manager said that I can stay here as long as I want. I told when I told him my situation, and he even said that he would drive me to the hospital if I need to. But anyways, I'm just so grateful that, um, like I said to the manager here, I, he goes, well, it's not going to be like, it's not going to be, you know, getting any better until after Christmas. And I said, well, I'd rather be spending Christmas stranded in a snowstorm and safe than in a casket.